Hello and welcome to my craft room tour, studio tour, whatever you want to call it. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And the first big change you'll see is I've got curtains separating my room from the hallway. There used to be a um, bookshelf here, which I've moved into my room now. And so now we come in here. Look at all the floor. There's so much floor. Let's just, let's just ooh and ah over all the floor that's showing now. That was not a thing in the past. Okay. So let's just start on the left here and go around the room. This cart that I just pulled over a little bit, that is, that's my finger, sorry. That cart is for all my journal making stuff and the empty boxes will be like finished ephemera and unfinished ephemera. Because at this moment in time, those are unfinished ephemera and finished ephemera. And, ugh, the stupid fingers. The shelf behind that has texture plates and papers and stuff like that for gel plate printing. And there are the gel plates and there are the paints. Uh, the little things that came on the rolling carts actually fit on the sides of the metal uh, shelves that I have there. So I've hung up all my paints now. And I've got, um, you know, paints there and everything. And then we come to this, which on the opposite side, because it's 18 inches uh, deep shelves, there is st some stuff on the other side, which I can just move the curtain on the other side to do that. So we have uh, extra space for gel plates that aren't in use or the metal bits that I use, a couple of journals that I have that are mine, the calendar from Took. That's all the top shelf. The next shelf down is uh, these are bits that need to be fussy cut. That is scraps backing and then there's all my jewelry and whatnot and the little bunny that uh, my friend Peggy made. And then on the next shelf, I can see that Grover thing that is my makers creative collab from 2023 papers to use in journals drawers that are empty so I don't know to put them in them yet and then here are um, my like Seth Apter and Tim Holtz uh, mixed media type then my six inch pads my eight inch pads and some really cool dominoes that I haven't done anything with yet then here we have this lovely piece that uh, somebody sent me might have actually been Kim, Kim's images. And then I've got my big uh, clips and little little baby scraps in there. All these stamps are here. This is all my stencils right here. And then I've got just some various books and vintage books and whatnot. And more vintage books and some journals and stuff back there. And then the next shelf down, the top shelf has some metal embellishments and whatnot and the next two drawers, I mean drawer, the next two drawers have my PM Artist Studio stamps. This is just where I can toss small stencils and stuff until I'm ready to put them away. I also have a folder up here for bigger stencils because I don't always want to put them away right away but I still need to get them off my desk. And then we have the really cool stamps I got at an antique store and more stamps here. This, um, I just stick it on my desk when I'm making stuff so that I can, that's all stuff from your creative studio, I think. And just some stamps. And this box here, I got at the thrift store, so that has my scraps with color and my scraps with neutrals. And then this was from my grandpa's uh, office, and this just has mixed media stuff in it. Um, I haven't decided what these are for yet. And found this piece at the thrift store, and that fits my inks. And we've got my decorative scissors and paintbrushes and paintbrushes and tools and whatnot. My scrap shoot box and the mixed media journal. And then on this little shelf right here are books that I use for collage, art journal, pages, what whatnot. And there's some stamps down there. And um, also a glue gun. So these, these little plastic containers fit and they're perfect. It's a little wobbly. It's a little dangerous because of the wobbly. These are projects I need to finish. Okay, now the desk. I just have this sitting on the side. There's my chocolate because that's important. Just all the little bits. Got my water and brushes drying there. And my scissors and those little things. And it's a little bright outside. The sun is reflecting off the snow. So, But that is the setup on my desk. 
And then over here behind my cup, there's like stencils and stamps that are just kind of stand up in there. And then there's binder clips um, underneath that. And then here, those are journals to go in my shop. That brown box are Distress Ink um, refills. And then there's my inks up there. And there's clusters, whale tail, uh, heat embossing. Uh, I don't think there's anything in that drawer except for the um, the, the thing that the thing plugs the things plug into, and then there's like sponges and stuff to use with paint, and then there's some stamps, alpha stamps, and down further are more stamps, and extra glue and stuff like that, and then down there is also some glue and cleaning products, and then I think that drawer is empty, and then all my punches and my my bigger punches and my hole punches are all in there these are all inks and anything to do with inks is pretty much in there and then my big punches and then tissue napkin all kinds of stuff like that is in there my computer is just standing up there and just various random stuff uh, this is my book binding supplies and my um, this thingy my, my big bite is under my desk, and there's some things under my desk. I'm trying to keep as much off the floor as I can, though. And here are my inks and some pens. And here are alcohol inks and uh, oxide refills and ink refills. And that's my cord for my computer, which is in my way. <laughs> and here is the stuff that from Rachel Roxy Creations. There's some papers and some fabric in there. And the bottom one is tools. This is just for projects that are ongoing or in the near future. And then on top of that, I put this, which has, you know, things I can use. And I'm not sure what I want to do with this yet, but it's in there for now. If I find a place to set it, then I'll probably stand up, like, finish tags and stuff like that. And then there are my pens. Here's uh, just excess more stuff that might have to do with book binding, like the corners, um, all those tissues, Velcro, magnets, stuff like that. And then these two drawers are for my Sizzix uh, Vagabond, which is behind the pens. And that is, oh, these are vintage items that I'm keeping. And that is all my master boards. <laughs> and then this, let's see, we're still going around the left, right? This horrible, horrible corner is the stuff that I need to uh, get ready to go out for shipping. And whatever doesn't fit in any boxes I have is donating. I, I can't deal with more than what I've... This is already, like, it's overwhelming. That's why, that's why I'm glad I have that little wall there so I don't have to look at it. So that's all stuff that is, is going to be going. And then eventually my sewing machine will be set up over there and maybe even my Cricut Maker, which is upstairs right now. This is my ephemera cart. So it's just, you know, I showed it last year. It's pretty much the same if you saw it last year. <laughs> this is all different. This was on the other side and now it's over here. So I've got all my, uh, anything, any, uh, three by five, all my index cards are in those boxes and whatnot. And there's like stickers and resume paper and big paper and envelopes down there. And just some empty journals here. I need to find the cover of this so I don't have to look at the ink, but that's where my ink is. Extra tissues, extra paper. This is um, watercolor and mixed media and sketchbooks is what all this is. I think these are all watercolor. This is canvas. Then we have some um, envelopes here, but I just like the box. Mixed media, I think that's 20 pound paper. That's mixed media, mixed media uh watercolor paper and then we've got pr paper for the printer for when i'm printing see the, this is when i'm printing receipts i don't need the special paper and this is like the 32 pound and the 24 pound and some craft and some black card stock and this is photo paper and that is um sandpaper and that is my grandma and grandpa and then this cart is my mixed media cart so i've got just a, a bunch of different papers and stuff like that tissue here palette uh the uh splat box some different brushes watercolors are on there and whatever acrylic paints i don't have in the other places are in there 
And then, oops, this shelf that was in the hallway now has, like, that stuff that, where's my finger? That is stuff to go in my, that's my personal stuff, plus my Bibles and stuff. And then uh, my sewing machine, I set there for now. I mean, it can stay there, but but um, at least it's off the floor. And some journals that people have gifted me. That box is actually empty. And then there's some canvas bags in there that I want to paint. And that's Defemrember. That's my mom and dad. Peaceful Meadows. Top, I, I might fix it so it's not all crickety on top. But it's the top of a Peaceful Meadows box. If you know, you know. And some little golden books for my personal use and some of my own journals. And uh, my birds from the Makers Creative Club in 2022, I think. Uh, and uh, that uh, Patricia from PM Artist Studio made that. That This picture here is where my I started when I was doing the artist way. And I wrote out these rules that she said to write and set put somewhere I don't think it's going to focus but anyway and then there's all my acrylic paints on the wall my cheap ones cheap ones and more of these and then here's my box of my buttons from my great grandma my, my grandma gave them to me and I think they belong to her grandmother and then this was my, <clears throat> stupid finger this was my mom's bowl so I have just um my need my threads in there my bobbins here extra sewing stuff in there and then all my fabric and lace and everything fits on that shelf. And then the last shelf, which obviously needs some organization still and some getting rid of some stuff, is the glue books. The, on the bottom is Christmas. That basket is empty. All my magazines and anything to do with glue book, plus some future projects. And so that is it. That is my craft room. Um, if you stay to the end, there will be a, uh, a video of before pictures and progress pictures that you will be able to see. And you will see that there has been a big difference. Because when I started, there was no floor showing. I was not putting stuff away. I was still way above my clutter threshold. And um, I can't wait for this stuff to be gone. But it's, I can't, my brain can't do it yet. So that's hopefully going to happen soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I've been talking about it for a while. Uh, there's still like small, like, you know, like that shelf over there and my finished and unfinished. There's still projects for the use it or lose it series and everything. But yeah, am I making you dizzy? Sorry. <laughs> oh, and then under my desk, I've got my um, cutters. And those are all uh, book covers, but I put my feet on that. So, But that's where all my book covers, that's the container for the book covers. If they don't fit in there, then they don't get to stay. And if that gets full, then I have to uh, figure out which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to get rid of. And dictionaries under there. Oh, and also under here, I guess I should show you that. Slowly, slowly they turn. Uh, my washi tape, my glass mat, and um, these are like decorative washi tape. Uh, you remember those three plastic, clear plastic things I had that had all kinds of trims and stuff? That's all in there now. And these are like, um, that purpley blue one is, um, fasteners, like, um, brads and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it. That's my room. So thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Stick around and you will get to see, there's no talking on the rest of it, but I'm sure you will gasp. In horror as you see how this started. Have a delightful day guys. Love you.